welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we're looking at a science fiction action thriller today. Yeah, a mid-range budget. It wasn't a massive budget, but uh, a reasonable amount of money spent on it. Uh, we're going to have a look at something called, well, it's called Simply 65. Nice and easy title to remember. 65. Nothing to do with retiring or anything like that. It's uh, perhaps if you put it in the context of 65 million years ago and what might have been happening on planet Earth. So that's the basis of it. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Great job, you on board. Everything film and TV, of course, information, blogs, reviews like this, lots of different stuff. If you can spread the word, I've uh, recently passed 3,000 subscribers. So on to the next, what, 3,100. Let's get on to that. So if you can help me towards that, that would be most grateful. If you're pressing buttons, just Please, just give that little like button a press. Uh, I'm only trying to get about 10 likes. It's not a big target, but sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. But if you can help me towards that, I'll be very grateful. Right, let's have a look at this science fiction action thriller written and directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods. Starring, yes, I like I like Adam Driver, and I quite liked Ariana Greenblatt in this. But there's one slight problem, which I'll tell. We'll go on to later on. But basically, there you two, there you two in this is not, uh, and a few creatures. You're not going to get many, many more actors. So uh, save it on the wages, that's for sure. All these scores and reviews and comments are as at the 30th of April, 2023, at 10 a.m. UK time. Rotten Tomatoes audience, they quite like it. 3.7 out of 5 average, 65% positivity. Internet movie database, though, a little bit lower, a little bit down on this. A lot of lot of scores, 37,000, but it's only averaging 5.4 out of 7, which is a bit disappointing. As is Metacritic, their users, they scored it 4.7 out of 10. So, yeah, a, a bit of uh, the public aren't liking this. In fact, I've, I've I've actually uh, looked at this film and uh, another one very similarly um, over the last 24 hours and both I liked, but both the public haven't seemed to like them. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I must be either in a, a different frame of mind. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's about, what's it about? It's about a pilot who crashes on an unknown planet. It, obviously, if you've read anything about 65, you know which planet it is, which turns out to be Earth. Of course it is. During the Cretaceous period, and fights to survive the dangerous prehistoric environment. So, good, good synopsis. I like it. Good plot. This was released on March the 10th, 2023 by Sony. Uh, is uh, currently, I think it's still available to watch as I'm recording this, but uh, no doubt it'll be coming on streaming very, very soon. What about the critics? Well, the, the public... Rotten Tomatoes sort of liked it, but the critics didn't, that's for sure. 35% positivity, 114 critics... I know only average rate of 4.8 out of 10, so very, very weird. Um, well, felt weird for me anyway. And it's uh, obviously 40 fresh and 74 rotten. Oh, that 114 critics. Christy Lemire from RogerEbert.com said, There's nothing to these characters, and the action sequences quickly grow repetitive and wearisome. Tim Roby from the Daily Telegraph here in the UK said, Scott Beck, Brian Woods shot this mid budget action thriller mid COVID, cleaving to that kind of B movie template and aiming but failing to match those emotional stakes. So they didn't like it. But thankfully, Empire Magazine, John Nugent, he likes it a little bit more. A short, sharp, largely original movie major studio movie unbound to any franchise or intellectual property at a time when such a concept is being threatened with extinction very true also it has a t-rex in it sometimes that's enough yes perhaps not enough of a t-rex in it for me though so we'll say that we'll talk about that before we go the consensus of the website reads sodden sci-fi that somehow finds a way to bungle adam driver fighting dinosaurs 65 is closer to zero uh, a little bit unkind to say the least Metacritic, the other side we'll look at, that's got a weighted average. Again, not great. Uh, 40 out of 100 based on 27 critics. Three positive, 16 mixed and eight negative. So not great. The Guardian's Benjamin Lee didn't like it very much. He scored it 40. He said, it's not quite the toxic disaster it's being treated as, but 65 is nowhere near the giddy lark it should have been. Crash landing somewhere in the middle instead. Yeah, I don't totally disagree with Benjamin Lee there, but as I say, I, I give it a little bit of um, bit more credence than perhaps that Benjamin and many, many others are, are giving it, in fairness. Todd Gilchrist from Variety said, 
uh, give it 60 and said anchored by another in a series of committed performances from Adam Driver an ensemble of suitably menacing prehistoric beasts not enough for me that chasing for just over 90 minutes Beck and Wood's adventure delivers requisite thrills even if its creativity seems stuck in a distant cinematic past well there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with going old fashioned and not being too clever right my thoughts guys as I say I'm generally higher than most people on this one as i said it might have been the the mood i was in at the time i watched it i'm not too sure i did read a lot about this uh, i read some positivity so i was looking forward to it and that's usually a bad sign you know if, if people are positive i, I start thinking where, where they got this from but Obviously, that positivity that I did read way way back, probably when it was released in March, uh, has waned just a little. But obviously, my positivity stayed. Yes, so I am going to be positive on it if it was a Metacritic user. I am going to be fresh on it if it was on Rotten Tomatoes, and I am going to give it a score of seven out of ten because I liked it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as an old-fashioned adventure sci-fi film. Yes, formulaic, uh, but it was just nice to sit back and watch a film without having to think too hard about things conspiracy. Things theories and all different things happening on the screen and it's just nice um not too much blood soaked action which won't please some uh, i watched a couple of those sort of films recently and just for me a throwback yes to simpler times if i had a if i have a criticism i do have criticism despite giving it seven out of ten there wasn't enough dinosaur action in it for me uh, certainly not enough t-rexes or other uh, predatory creatures and although the story though intriguing an idea perhaps not as Perhaps, well, what, what can we say? Perhaps not as interesting as it could have been. I think one of the critics aimed at it there, but still criticised it in a bad way. I'm still being positive on this, even though I think it could have been done a lot, lot better. Uh, it did lack a little bit of backstory, but it kept it, it kept it neat and tidy within the time frame as well. It didn't waffle on, it didn't carry on for too long. I did like the two main characters, and I, I did mention something before, didn't I, about uh, the young act actor in this. Um, I did like the two main characters, or their lack of understanding, because obviously they spoke different languages. Now, for me, um, that just ruined the film. I would have, would have fancied more of a, a Last of Us feel, you know, where they were trying to obviously get on or not like each other and try and get through and stuff like this. So the fact they couldn't speak to each other's language, all right, moved the plot along in, a, in an, odd, an odder way. I just wanted them to speak the same language. I think it would have been a little bit better. I just thought it was a bit of a cop-out. And it sort of crossed for me. Yes, I mean, looking at it, you say it crossed one million years BC. Remember that film? One of my favourites at the cinema when I was a kid, the Jurassic Park, uh, without fully diving into it. That's that's the critique I've got. Yeah, I mean, it's a mix of those two without going the full hog on either, which is a little bit disappointing. But as I said, I've give it, I've give it credit, uh, even though I was disappointed that it perhaps could have been a little bit better. So I sort of like this and what they were trying to do within a, a lowish budget. It wasn't done for nothing. It wasn't done for pennies. There was a bit spent on it. Uh, but I think um, with that lowish budget, I would have preferred a few, a few more quid spent and a, a little bit better uh, than what we ended up with. But but as I said, I've given this 7 out of 10 because it's good fun in a, in a throwaway sort of way. And as I say, not too fancy, not too clever. Just got on with it, which uh, I appreciated. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear from you. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.